production of the Vermont Social Studies Project is funded in part by a grant from Goals 2000 of the United States Department of Education. Most children, that's the hook, not the not the end of the line, it's the thing that gets them started. And if you really think about geography or history, or any social studies area as the place that you can integrate the other disciplines in it, you always can have time for it. The children have seen, either in newspapers, on television, in movies, about their expanding world. And I feel that the job is easier in terms of uh, teaching social studies because they're more aware. The other goal is to get, you know, beautiful imagery into kids' minds, sort of filling it sort of as an antidote to a lot of, a lot of other stuff that goes in there, you know, sort of video games and that kind of thing. That sort of, that whole thing really is, is sort of frightening to me. I think that as teachers we just have to give every opportunity that we can find. And we have to find a place for every child. We can never say a child cannot express their thoughts. There has to be a way for every child to find an avenue of expression. And that's how their mind really becomes alive, and that's how they become excited about learning. We need to teach children to be problem solvers, to be lifelong learners, to figure out how to gather information for themselves. And we need to teach the broad concepts that are going to enable them to gain the information. So I do teach a lot of problem solving. They need to eat and sleep and rest and play. And to give children the opportunity to see that a Japanese child will eat and sleep and play and have a family. If you ask the big questions, you need to honor whatever comes back to you and it may not be what you expect, and it may not always fit the rubric exactly. The elementary classrooms of Vermont that best nurture the natural curiosity of our youngest students are warm and stimulating environments where youngsters explore new worlds and broaden their horizons. During explorations in the social studies, they not only learn to read and write, but also to treasure the amazing variety in the societies of our world. They slowly become aware of the importance of human communities and social systems to their own lives and to the lives of people everywhere, here and now and long ago and far away. This knowledge of real people and dynamic interrelationships is the foundation of growing wisdom about the human family upon which they will shape their own lives in the years to come. Teaching and learning at the elementary level are interdisciplinary by nature. This program will bring us to classrooms of students learning about social studies at an elementary level and with methods consistent with the Vermont framework of standards in history and social sciences. These approaches introduce major concepts and develop understanding and skills in all major areas of social science as outlined in the Vermont framework. The elementary teachers you've seen here have one important characteristic in common. They think in three dimensions. They're constantly striving to take abstract, hypothetical concepts and morph them into something concrete and multidimensional that their students can see and ponder. They understand that elementary students have a hard time with abstractions, but they also understand that their students can think deeply about ideas and concepts, if only they could see them. Elementary teachers take the blinders off for the first time and help children begin to see and understand the important forces of their lives, whether they are the forces of literacy and community or the forces of history and culture. This takes an enormous amount of energy and creativity, but teachers all over Vermont do this every day. They know that by planting and nurturing these concepts and skills, their students will grow into eager and successful learners.
Copies of this program and the accompanying educator's guide may be purchased by calling 802-654-7980 or visiting our website at www.retn.org.